my name is Charles Goodman. I'm working at IPDA, which is Integrated Process Design Associates. We're not an architectural firm, though I am a licensed architect. We provide BIM services to uh, the new to the project team in ways that have not been done in the past. Uh, we're becoming a new consultant to the team. We can provide our, uh, these services to the individual team members and or to the team as a whole. In my um, time at IPDA, we have come up with new systems and we uh, have expressed or have shown those to be BS BIM, which is not BIM services, but it's the next generation. We have found that we are starting to come up with a lot of new terms and new systems of how we're discussing this to show people that may or may not understand some of the, the processes that we're looking at and, and doing and that uh, we no longer, for one, have draftsmen. We now have um, a modeler. So we no longer have draftsmen, we have now modelers. We call them modelers and we no longer have uh, a draftsman, we will probably have a, a, another a junior draftsman, we have annotators, and we still have the job captains and such. But we also have another term called um, the falling leaf or the leaf. And we call it that because, as I said before, everything that we look at is how we assemble this information that is uh, together in a, uh, these objects, and how we can extract it, and how it stays part of the tree of the model, or how it stays live in the model and that the model keeps moving forward and being um, pertinent. We like systems where that you can take the information, update it, and put it back into the system and keep it back up and moving forward. One of the projects I like to talk about is one of the uh, IPDA projects that we're working on right now, and it's for uh, a company called Snyder Langston, which is a general contractor. They specialize in pre-construction services to uh, the projects that they're about to construct. They asked us to come in and do a virtual model of their contract documents, and then also do some ideas that the owner had that he'd like to make changes to the design. The design at that stage was that the permits were about to be issued for the construction documents. IPDA was asked to come in and virtually build a model from the contract documents. So we did that, and within a week and a half, we had over 50 um, pre-RFIs, of which were pretty significant uh, items that, not saying that they couldn't be built, but there would be a lot of assumptions being made, a lot of change orders, there would have been problems on the, pro uh, definite problems on the project. Also, the owner wanted to be able to see if he could put a pool in, change the building to concrete, do a, you know, change the story heights. There was a lot of things that he would like to do now after more considerations that he had done with marketing for reselling these units. Um, as IPDA started working, we came up with those, those um, RFIs as I spoke of. We also came up with uh, another model which was showing what the owner wanted in a construction uh, concrete systems which then had wing walls and a lot of different shear walls and things. And then we also came up with a third option we then presented these all these three models along with revised cost estimations from the uh, from SLO residential to the owner and to the architect of the of the project. Um, it was pretty amazing what happened. Um, the architect was amazed that the mere fact that he's never seen this building the way he saw it before, he understood it in his mind, but this was on the screen in front of him. The owner said, made this comment, um, this is the first time I've ever understood my building. The owner, during the end of this, uh, this pre-construction, chose the third option, is having the construction documents completely revised at a considerable cost. The architect's considering using Graphisoft Archicad for all their work because they cannot believe that, they can work, that somebody can work like this and they never were exposed to it. Um, it was a really fantastic meeting, and we got a lot of high fives and a lot of pat on the back, plus decent sum of money. IPDA, one of the reasons it's in existence is to help as an integration and collaboration tool. It's also helping individual uh, companies do BIM services. 
And in this case, we were, allowed, we were able to come in and pr cr create a virtual model of a set of construction documents and help them in the pre-construction services. So we do view it as a little bit different. We do not want DWGs. We do not want the architect's models if they're available. What we basically want is to act as the person in the field and virtually model reality. So we take the documents and if it's hard for us to build, it's gonna be very hard for them to build it. So in essence, it wasn't a real hard change for our philosophy and how we work and our templates on how we, we do this. It's just that we're doing specifically for one team member and not necessarily the entire team, even though the entire team was able to benefit from it. IPDA was created for that exact reason, is to act as an independent third party that has no associations um, other than these are the systems that we can use to help the team build the building.